Cloud crews, in the meantime, they continue to clean up after the Christmas week blizzard moved through West Michigan. News 8's Kyle Mitchell has an update on the progress and explains the impact that those warmer temperatures will have later this week. Clearing neighborhood streets is keeping Kent County Road Commission plows very busy. You look at this neighborhood street, there's still a lot of hard pack on there. That's because everybody drove it and packed it in. But as far as being able to access, they can get reasonable access to their home. One thing that's really helping plow crews are the warmer temperatures into the 20s, which makes salt more effective. Salt will work at any temperature if you put enough on. But you put it on, it dilutes, it makes ice, freezes, gets harder and harder and harder. So we cut it off once you get to about 15 degrees. And keeping the roads plowed isn't cheap. Crews are constantly assessing conditions to come up with the best strategy. I can tell you that we're spending when these trucks are on the road, we're spending about a quarter million dollars a day. That's about $10,000 an hour around the clock for the past four days. City of Grand Rapids plows have also been working to clean up after the snowstorm. Well, right now we're focusing on getting our main roads opened up, cleared, and uh, salted. The director of public works says plows have gone through neighborhoods twice since the storm began and are working on a third pass. We've been on 24 hours a day and we'll continue until everything is completely cleaned up. The city had 35 to 50 people working on snow removal at any given time, depending on the shift. Moving your car off the street into the driveway and following odd even day parking restrictions can help. I understand that there are, have been some cars that we've had to work around. Uh, please get out there and if you are able, get them moved so that we can get the streets cleared completely. Plow operators are also asking people to keep the sewer drain clear near their homes. If they're talking 50 by Friday, we're going to have flooding. So we're going to be filling driveways, pushing the snow back and, and making room for that water. In Plainfield Township, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.